Welcome to my channel again. Digital terrain model are fundamental for a site planner and today I want to show you a new released digital terrain model that claims a resolution of one arc second exactly like the known one Aster GDM and SRTM but it is apparently of better quality. This digital terrain model has been released by the University of Bristol. This um, model is called uh, FAP DEM, Forest and Building Removed Copernicus DEM. It's free available on the link that you can see below the video. Let's have an example and let's compare the new digital terrain model with the old one. Let's see how it looks through Global Mapper. I'm not going to use Quantum GIS because Global Mapper for a turn analysis is more user friendly and, and has more straightforward tool. So let's first of all configure Global Mapper as usually. I'm going to take an example on a plane of Idlep. Therefore, I need to change my projection to the Syrian projection. This is important in case you want later on to export your result into CAD uh, platform. Select UTM 37 North. Fine. So everything what I'm developing now will have the right projection. As an example, I just take one area close to Idlep. I call it Camp. It's this one. Let's see where it is in order to be oriented with Wall Street map. Okay, you see Idlep is here. The area of interest uh, could be this one. And also here I have just a lake as a reference. Now, I need to download the new digital terrain model. And for that, I need to go to the web page. The link is going to be given below the video. And additionally, I will give you a link that explain exactly how this digital terrain model has been developed the precision of the digital terrain model and all the relevant information about the quality of this digital terrain model. To download the new digital terrain model, you go to this page and you can download all the world, but it is 462 gigabyte, it is a little bit big, or you just can choose the right tile. And to choose the right tile, you need to know the coordinate of your area of interest. For Idlep, for example, we just go into internet. I just write inlet coordinate and I just take the first side that shows me the coordinates of inlet. I can see that Hidlep has a 35 degree latitude north and 36 degree longitude east. This is the information that I need for this next page in order to do download the right tile. Here I have to look the tile that includes north 35. So here we have north 30, east 30, to north 40, east 40. That's the tile that we need to download. I click on this tile. I will have to save it somewhere. Of course, this will take some time. It is 2.4 gigabyte. Once the tile is downloaded, you unzip it. And you can see that smaller tiles are going to be extracted. Those are fine. Now we have all those tiles. We have to find the right raster tile, 35 and 36. Here we have 35 north. This is the tile that is for us important. I cut it and I paste it on my folder. Here we are. Now let's first upload our digital terrain model. It is this one. It is an elevation data, therefore I click on yes. It is in meter. And we see that we are on the right location and the digital elevation model is properly georeferenced. Let's zoom in a little bit, this area. Now let's, as a first, produce the contour line, generate contour. Here I can give the name of the layer. One meter equidistance is fine. I increase the resolution, 5 meter resolution. Important is that you limit your analysis to the area visible on the screen so that everything is going to be somehow quicker. Click OK. And let's hope that everything is fine. Might take some time. I speed up the video. OK, that's the result. And now let's 
confront the other digital elevation model that claim to have the same resolution. First, we can start with Aster GDEM. Here you see Aster GDEM version 2, one arc second resolution. You can see visually Aster GDEM digital terrain model has a very different appearance. Obviously, this plane is not plane anymore, especially the lagoon is not properly displayed. Let's do exactly the same contour line with the same parameter. I go to analysis, generate contour. I call aster, one meter interval and same resolution of five meter. Again, I crop it to the data visible on the screen. Find totally different result. And now let's make the next experiment with SRTM digital elevation model. It's this one. Analyze, generate contour, SRTM one meter interval, same resolution, and cropping it to the visible data. Again, a total different result. Now let's zoom in in a small area, just to compare the three results. Here we have SRTM digital terrain model. Here we have the Aster GDM digital terrain model that looks kind of better and here we have the FabDem digital terrain model that looks actually to be the best and to be the most realistic one. But let's do another experiment. We know that we have this lagoon more or less at the level of 217 meter. Let's inundate this area at 217 hundred and seventeen meter and see how the result look like. First we activate the new digital terrain model. Then I go to analysis, simulate water level rise or flooding. So we can simulate the water flooding at 217.5 meter with the FabDem digital terrain model and see what happens here we click on increase from elevation to 170.5 we can increase the resolution this time make it 10 meters so it will be quicker and important we crop it again to the visible data we see this is the area flooded at this elevation let's see what happens with the other digital elevation model this time we take aster gdm as a digital elevation model analysis simulate water this time it is called aster same same 10 meters resolution cropping okay let's compare we have a total different result apparently the absolute elevation of the two digital elevation model are different let's make it one meter less okay probably now we can compare this is the flooding with fab then and this is the flooding with aster you can see the quality of the result looks much better with the new digital elevation model but let's make the last experiment with SRTM I select SRTM on the same way I simulate the water rise I call SRTM here 16 10 meters resolution and cropping on visible data You see, obviously, the quality of our new digital terrain model is better. Definitely, it is not good enough for water supply or for drainage or for flooding analysis on low scale area. But I advise you for the future to use this new elevation model because this gives you better result. 
Thank you very much for following and see you soon.